Hi, this is the video clip for 6.4. Uh, 6.4 actually has two, also just like 6.3 did. This is the graphing portion, and we'll have a second one over solving logarithmic equations. So uh, on logarithmic functions, let me be, can I explain what they are. The logarithmic function is the inverse of an exponential function. So if you recall, exponential functions are one-to-one, -one, so they're going to have an inverse. And the inverse is found by the logarithmic function. And in class, we go into a little bit more detail how to, how that comes about. But suffice it to say, y equals log base b of x is equivalent to b to the y to the x. These are just the same thing. Now, b to the y equals x is the inverse of y equals b to the x. Remember, the definition of inverse is back in 6.2. You have to switch the x and the y. So if you have an exponential equation, 6.3, to find the inverse of that, since it's 1 to 1, you switch the x and make it a y, which is now b to the y, and you make the y an x, and that's why this x is here. So not only did I flip the, uh, the x with the y, I also flip the equations around. So, so it, it b to the y, and then y turns into bx. So, so since these are inverses, and these are the same thing, that makes this one the inverse of this one. So the exponential is the inverse of the logarithmic base. And again, in class, I go into a little bit more detail with that. Now, remember back in exponential functions, um, 0, 1, and 1, comma, the base is the uh, uh, um, points on the graph of an exponential function. Well, since they're inverses, that gets switched around. So instead of 1, 0 working for an logarithmic, it's going, to go, it's going to go 1, 0 and B, 1. So these things are going to look like sevens or L shapes. So um, there's a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. And that's not surprising because if you remember, the exponential functions have a horizontal asymptote at 0, y equals 0. So now it's x equals 0 is a vertical asymptote. So every number, every, the x's becomes y's, the y's becomes x's. So, so this is the basic shape of logarithmic functions when b is greater than 1. And for this one, which I didn't write down, b is between 0 and positive 1. So now, so I gave, a, a, this is the idea of what, and again, I go a little bit more detail in class. I got a couple of examples. And example 1 is f of x equals log base 2 of x. Now, you could do this by a t-chart and then plot points. I'm not that meticulous about it. What I will do is I'll just remember they all go through 1, 0, and base comma 1. So this one's going to go through 1, 0, and the base, which is 2, comma 1. And so it's going to look like that. And I also recall that there's always a, a vertical asymptote on the x-axis, x equals 0, or the y-axis, x equals 0. So, so it looks like this one, so it's kind of this shape right here. So, because the base is actually 2 in this case. So that's the, the answer to example 1. Example 2 has the same log base 2, so it's going to have this same shape, except that this is going to get shifted one unit to the right and then up 3. So this point right here is going to go one unit to the right, at, now it's at 2, and then up 3. So it goes there. And this point at 2, 1 will go right 1 and go up 3. But it has that same backward 7 shape. So the graph gets moved 1 unit to the right and 3 up. As a matter of fact, I think I made a mistake on that one because, yep, because not only did uh, the X, uh, these points make me move 1 unit to the right, the vertical asymptote got moved one unit to the right as well. So if you notice, I kind of got sloppy here, and I went too far. So what I need to do is I need to backtrack just a little bit, and there is a vertical asymptote right at 1. So there's a boundary there. So then it just kind of comes down like this. So, so the vertical asymptote on this one is x equals 1 because it got moved one unit to the right. Remember, before it was x equals 0, but when you move everything to the right 1, now it's x equals 1. So, so not only do the points get moved, the asymptote gets moved, just like we did when we had a shift on the um, exponential functions. This time it was shifted to the right. I could just as very easily shifted it to the left and made it an x plus 1, and the vertical asymptote would have been over here. 
So, so everything is switched on the exponential and logarithmic functions. You just gotta kind of keep remembering which one goes with which one, and that's the challenge. So, anyway, this is the logarithmic functions uh, section part graphing, and um, it's a very quick session. And uh, in class, it goes in a lot more detail with this, and give you a lot more examples with this. Um, just this is just kind of just a reminder of how to do the types of problems. So.